best ideas for shorts for your business. Our lists, for example, my top 10 something, secrets to three ways to do something. You want to keep it short because that's what shorts are all about. So the top 10 ways, for example, if you're an artist, if you're a life coach, if you're a creative professional, what might you do? This video, my top 10 favorite brushes in Procreate from Rishi Draws channel has 1.9 million views. I love urine lists, so here are my top 10 favorite brushes in Procreate for 2020. Number 1, Monoline. This is a must-have brush for drawing even-weighted lines with no tapering. It's also great for creating basic fill shapes. Number 2, Syrup. I use this brush for creating expressive lines with tapering for a traditionally inked look. Number 3, 6B Pencil. This is a great all-rounder for drawing and painting in any analog style. Number 4, Chalk. I use this brush like a paintbrush to lay down large opaque shapes but get a result that looks more like a pastel drawing. Number 5, Bonobo Chalk. Number 6, Noise. And number 7, Carbon Stick. All three of these are ideal for creating soft shading over flat illustrations, as is popular in the Galshear style. Number 8, Stucco. And number 9, Soft Pastel. Both of these make great blending brushes for adding analog texture to your digital work. And finally, number 10, Salamanca. This is my go-to brush for painting portraits and anything that requires a more classically painted look. And that's it. Happy New Year, everyone. What are your favorite brushes? Leave your choices in the comments below, and as always, don't forget to follow, like, and share. 7 Secrets List Promise me this. You'll never let anyone ever take your dreams away from you. Your dreams are the most important thing. Always follow your dreams. Number two, grow your mind. The thing inside of your mind can either hold you back or propel you forward. Keep learning, keep growing. Number three, share your talents with the world. You've got incredible gifts inside of you. Make sure you give them away. Number four, find friends that inspire you, that lift you up, that celebrate your success. Number five, take care of your body. This is the only body you've got. Make sure you're taking care of it and it will take care of you. Number six, live in gratitude. Gratitude is the key to your happiness. And number seven, live a life of service. Go out there and help others. Here's the next example, and it's a creative professional. Three ways, three ways you can improve your design. Always work in black and white. No colors, no textures. This will make it easier for you to focus on the important aspects of the logo. Legibility, not being able to read the logo. Pretty serious mistake. Always ask, is it legible? Does it read well? Legibility should supersede every other consideration. Critiquing is an art. I try not to react right off the bat. Start by simply describing what I'm seeing. Then I start to notice how certain things make me feel and I can start sharing ideas for things that we can do to improve. That one ended very abruptly. I know, and that one was only 29 seconds. So you see, you don't have to do more than you think you have to do. And he thought 29 seconds was perfect, and that's all he did. Now, if you're doing an industry type shorts, you could do updates, you could do humor, you could do a joke, and you can do the pros and cons of something. For example, you could be an educator, you could be a comedian, or you could be a business professional. Let's see what that means. Five YouTube updates in less than a minute. If you have a monetized channel and you live outside the US, you will need to submit tax information via AdSense to ensure that you get taxed the right amount on US YouTube earnings. Failure to do so could result in 24% tax on all of your earnings worldwide. Start researching this topic now. If you have copyright claims or ad restrictions on your videos, YouTube are going to start testing providing this data to users of the Android YouTube. And finally, vidIQ, that's us, have just beta released a new tool that scans your channel and suggests daily video ideas. If you're a Boost member and you see it, please send us feedback. There's a lot of different types of aquarium filters, but what makes canister filters so great or not so great? Well, they're not the cheapest option, but they're definitely worth considering. It can hold lots of filtration media, so they're great if you have a large tank. The filter material can easily be customized as well, and they're capable of biological, mechanical, and chemical filtration, depending on what you put inside of it. And even though it's usually bigger than other types of aquarium filters, you can easily hide them out of sight. Most people tuck them underneath the tank inside the aquarium cabinet. Also, some of them come with UV light sterilizers built in. Okay, so I actually stopped that one at 34 seconds because it was a little boring, I thought, but that is a good example of what to do and what not to do. 
It was a smart video. It had great ideas of pros and cons, but you gotta speed it up. You know, people don't wanna sit there and listen to you, you know. So speed it up, right? Speed it up, get some energy going. Okay, hmm. what about behind the scenes? Well, here is an example from a wedding photographer and let's just pop over to the screen. This one is wedding photography behind the scenes number two and this got, oh my gosh, you ready for this? Since January 16th, 2021, 18.3 million views. Here we go. So anyway, just an example of what you can do as a behind the scenes video and then you show what the actual shot looks like. Very successful, 18 million views on that one. Something I highly recommend you do. More ideas. What about a comparison video? This versus that. What about a realtor, this city versus that city? Or a consultant, this strategy versus that strategy? Or a coach, this way of doing things versus that way of doing things? How about more ideas, tools of the trade? Compare three tools. If, if you're a singer, if you're a performer, or if you play guitar and you give lessons, maybe you use three different types of guitars and you can compare them. More video ideas, point of view. What does that mean? Your opinion or advice on XYZ that your ideal client faces, something that you can help them with. What about doing before and after videos? For example, our client had this problem, that's the before, and we solved it this way, and that's the after. You can also do videos on facts and statistics. The coolest stuff that's happening on YouTube, how many people are on YouTube? How many views YouTube gets? How many visitors it gets every single month? You know, just list a whole bunch of facts and statistics that have to do with something that you talk about on a regular basis, which for me is YouTube. I'm Sherry Barbera. This is Azumi, YouTube for Business. Subscribe if you haven't already, like this video if you like it, and share it with someone who needs to know about it, and have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next video.